Hey guys, no gas Nico. I want to talk about my 62 kilowatt hour battery failure or battery issue I'm having that Nissan says, ah, hey, your battery's perfect and it's actually in excellent condition. They're wrong. I know they're wrong. A lot of you guys that have the Nissan Leaf and have had them for a long time and have had Leaf Spy and know how the cells are supposed to balance, you know they're wrong. But for some reason, Nissan will not admit that there's a problem with my battery pack. So here we are in Michigan now, snowpocalypse. Let me show you what I'm seeing off my front window. It's just getting started. They're saying one to three inches tonight, and I think, or one to three inches today. Uh, but I think they're talking five to eight inches on Thursday, Friday. It's ridiculous, but the main reason why I want to talk about is how I'm going to get Nissan to fix my battery. Well, look what's coming up in the weather forecast. That's this upcoming Monday. 10 degrees for the high. So in the morning time, let's say around 7, 8 o'clock, it's going to be 3, 4 degrees Fahrenheit. 3, 2, 4 degrees. Not 34. 3, 4, 4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold. That is cold enough. For this battery pack to really act up and throw a fault code. So my prediction, module one, sell over discharge. Like I said in the previous video, Nissan did a test of the battery pack, checked all the modules, and they said, your battery's in excellent condition. It's not. Again, you guys that know, know. Uh, I know it's not. I can see the cell that's bad. Uh, with Leaf Spy. If you don't know what Leaf Spy is, I'll link my uh, video to. I did a video on Leaf Spy and unboxing and kind of a first view of it. And I've learned a lot about it since then. But, you know, if you want to check out that video, it's in the description. And also, I have a link on the OBD2 connector that is, works the best and works the best with all Leaf. So that's in the description as well. And, uh, so anyway, I'm going to make this car fault out. I'm going to drive it to the town of the dealership. That way I can minimize my tow bill. And I'm going to tow it down there after it falls out. And then I'm going to demand a reimbursement for the tow bill. I'm going to demand a reimbursement for the battery diagnostic, seeing that I knew they were wrong. Uh, I told them that they were going to be wrong. I told them that this was going to happen. And then once it happens, fingers crossed that it actually gets to a state where it does throw a code. But I think I can, I think I can cause that to happen. I know enough about the Nissan Leaf that I could probably get it to throw a code fairly easily. I I was able to do it with the 2017, and 2017 was so bad it was throwing codes without you even trying. It was bad. So anyway, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, please subscribe. I'm on my push to get to a thousand. I'd like to see a thousand subscribers. Hopefully by the end of the month. If not. Hey, that's fine. I'm, my channel's growing. I appreciate all you guys following along. I hope to get answers and resolution to this. And I'd like to move on to other content other than battery failures. I feel like my channel's kind of revolved around that. And I want to move away from that. I want to get into other things, modifications you can do with EVs and my solar projects. Obviously, in weather like this, I'm not doing anything outside with solar because it's just, it's miserable. So, so my solar is going to be on hold till the springtime till I can actually have good weather to be able to do things. But stay tuned for this. Um, get Nissan's response. See if they will actually stand by their customers. That's all I ask. Do right by me. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. I wish you all the happiness and success in this new year. And we'll talk to you soon.